uh, winter of this year. Lawrence. And uh, John Highland, uh, we're showing on the screen there today, Texas, another record high day for coronavirus infections in Texas. And Donald Trump basically polling in a tie in Texas, Joe Biden uh, one point ahead. Those two things are related. And if things get worse and worse in Texas uh, with the coronavirus, uh, who knows what happens to no, the presidential no. campaign polling? No bite. Right. I mean, Lawrence, one of the things that that's, that, that's true is that, you know, three months ago at the beginning, hi. the first peak of the first wave, hi. you know, you saw the hi, hi, hi. split, right, where Hello. Um, it was mostly blue states and blue boy. cities, places like New York, Are California, you? Washington Aww. State that were affected by coronavirus. What a good boy. Out of that grew this red-blue divide. Are you going to see the doctor today? The Are you? He said, you know, hi, Loki. Hello, baby. And, and we Hello. Do that. And that was an easy Hi, baby. What a good boy. We all said three months ago, so well, cute. Hey, what's that? Is that my phone? Yeah. Hi. It would make things more complicated for Donald Trump, and that's exactly what we're seeing now, right? Whether it's in Tulsa, in <laughs> Oklahoma, in the Texas, exactly Hi, baby. in battleground states like Arizona, where the, the easy, Aww. cheap politics that Trump was is a master of and that he was uh, indulging in for the last three months suddenly he started to look incredibly foolish because even what the you Republicans doing? in those states are looking at him and saying, this is ridiculous the way you're Hi, Mama. and we care more about our life than we do about some cultural war that you want to wage and that is going to hurt him politically in a lot of states, including places that, are, that would normally be considered safe for a Republican, places like Texas. Hey, so. And uh, John, the mask issue in the polling is so fascinating that you have a maximum of 22 <laughs> Hey, baby. Uh, who see masks the way Donald Trump uh, sees masks. Joe Biden